Okay, so welcome back to our next tutorial. Uh, this video is going to deal with the insert method of a URI. So, how do we handle the insert method? Well, what happens is, okay, somewhere in the app in the Android system, not just in your application, uh, but we'll make it so that only your application can access this URI, but somewhere in the Android system, a URI has been called. And it goes, okay, what data do I need? And the URI that was being used to call this one here is passed in here. So this is the URI. So the first thing we're going to need to do is, not you know what you think, we're going to need to get our database. So db helper dot get writable database. Okay, done. Now we need to create our URI matcher. And we need to make sure that does this. So we're going to say if URI matcher dot match the URI that's passed in double equals comments. So what this is actually saying now is if the URI passed in matches this or if the URI passed in matches this URI up here up here uh, return one because the URI is correct and then that returns one it double equals one that means yes we are using the comments URI so that's that's pretty simple so all we have to do now is insert our data into the database dot insert and we've just got a thing here so our table is db helper dot table name null column hack null and values values so remember we'd count with a uh, we have our uh, values you know for content values values are being passed in here as well so basically the topic is that URI goes here's a here's a, a row of values or a package of values insert those into your database and here we are here we have done now we have to close our, D, our uh, DB and that actually now I need to I just realize something we have to get the database like that so DB dot close so close the database down now the next line is a bit of a funny line I'm gonna get the context dot get content resolver dot notify change and then a the URI and null. So what does this line do? Well essentially what we've done is we've inserted data into our database. Oh yeah, we have to return the URI that was passed in. I believe. No, no, return null. Huh. That is URI. Oh yeah, this can return a URI. That's for um, uh, MIME times, we're going to do that. But essentially what's happened is is that now what's happening is new data has been inserted to the database. So I don't know why I'm yawning so much. So new database has been inserted, or new data, or new row of data has been inserted. We need to notify the content provider or the content resolver that the data has been done. We need to reload everything and get going again. And I just clipped the mic so you might have heard that. So the next method is our query method. In fact, I'll actually end the video here and I'll do the query method in the next video.